Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear force and bending moment diagram. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this beam and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. This is the overhanging beam because we can see here the two portion of the beam is overhanging from the simply supported case. So this is the simply supported beam but is there are this portion and this portion is overhanging so we call such type of beam is the overhanging beam and this portion of the beam has been loaded with a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter or the distance of 3 meter and there is a point la pointed load acting at the other end of the beam which is 5 kN so we have to find out the support reaction first and then we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram let's consider this is point A or support A and this is support B and they have the reaction in upper direction is RA and RB. So to find out the support reactions taking the summation of moment at any point equal to zero. Let's suppose summation of moment at point B is equal to zero. We can use this equilibrium equation, summation of moment or summation of vertical forces or summation of horizontal forces equal to zero in order to find out the support reaction. These three equilibrium equation is used to find out the support reactions in the case of the static determinant problem. So we don't have any, there are two unknowns, we cannot use this equation. Similarly, we don't have horizontal force, so we cannot use this equation, so we are only using this equation for now. Let's suppose summation of moment at point B is equal to zero and clockwise moment is taken as positive while the anti-clockwise is taken as negative. So this Ra will create the clockwise moment about point B. So it will be Ra into 6 while 6 is the momentum for this force Ra. Now this force 2 kN per meter is the distributed load and this acts in the downward direction so it will create anti-clockwise moment about point B so it will be negative minus 2 multiply with the, with the distance 3 meter because this load is distributed over the distance of 3 meter multiply with the momentum momentum for this load will be the distance from the center of this load this load will act at the center so this is 3, 3 divided by 2 and the 6 meter so this distance will be equal to the 7.5 meter because it is the distance from this midpoint up to this point B so it is 7.5 meter again this load is acting in the clockwise direction 5 kN so plus 5 into the momentum is 3 for this load so 3 so equal to 0 now we can find out the RA so 6RA will be equal to, if we move this value and multiply and add this value to the right side, so we got 45 minus 15, it will be 6RA 30 and RA comes out to be 5 kN. So this is our support reactions here, 5 kN. Now what will be the RB? So now we have one unknown. So now we can use this equation to find out the RB. Summation of vertical force is equal to zero. And let's suppose the upper forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So the upper forces are RA and RB. They are positive. While the downward forces is this 2 kN per meter and this 5 kN. So 2 multiplying with 3 because this is a distributed load over the distance of 3 meters so I must have to multiply it with the 3 in order to convert it to the concentrated load and minus 5 because this is also acting in downward direction is the distributed load. So Rb will be equal to the 6 plus 5 minus Rb minus Ra So Rb comes out to be 6 kN. So we first find out the support reactions for this beam. Now we can draw the 
free body diagram for this beam in order to find out to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So these are the loading 2 kN per meter what the distance of 3 meter this is the reaction RA 5 kN RB is also 6 kN and again there is a load of 5 kN A it is a concentrated load so we draw the shear we draw the free body diagram for this beam now we will easily draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so let's suppose these are the reference lines This is for the shear force diagram in kilonewton. This will be the bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter. So these are reference lines. So it will be zero zero line, and the above value will be taken as positive, while the below value and the reference line will be taken as negative. So now we can see here. We start from this left end, so this is a load acting in downward direction 2 kN per meter over the distance of 3 meter, so 2 into 3 we got 6. So 6 load is acting in downward direction up to this point. So 2 into 3 is equal to 6, so 6 load from starting from this point up to this point is acting in downward direction. So it will be minus 6 because it is acting in downward direction, so minus 6. Now, we have upward reaction of 5 kN, so it will move up, so minus 6 and plus 5, because it is acting upward, so it will be positive. So minus 6 plus 5 will be minus 1. So we have minus 1 here. Then there is no load in this distance, so it will be a straight line. And then there is 6 kN is acting upward, so it is also positive. So minus 1 plus 6, we get plus 5. Now there is no load on this beam here, so it will be again a straight line, and this we have 5 kN here, so we have 5 will be acting downward again here, so we have the shear force diagram for this beam. It is positive because it is above the reference line, and these are negative and negative because they are below the reference line. Now with the help of this shear force diagram, I can draw the bending moment diagram. So this we know that this distance is 3 meter, this distance is 6 meter, and this distance is also 3 meter. So we have to find the area of the boxes of the shear forces to find out the bending moment diagram. So the area of this box, this is 6 is the height of this box and 3 is the base. So the area of this box, let's suppose, is the A1. So this is a triangle. This is a triangle. So it will be half base into height. So 3 is this base. This is base and this is the height is 6. So it will be minus 9. This comes out to be minus 9. Why minus 9? Because this was acting downward. That's why I take took a minus 9. So this will be minus 9 here. This is the minus 9 kN meter is the moment, bending moment for this case. Now, this is again negative shear box. You can see here a small value, a small shear box with a height of minus 1. This was minus 1 and the length is 6 meter. So it will be A2 minus 1 multiply with the 6, it is minus 6. So we will add this minus 6 with minus 9, minus 9 was before and minus 6 is now, so it comes out to be minus 15. Because adding these two will give us minus 15, so it will minus 15. And this we have the remaining portion this is acting in upward direction is a positive shear box so it will be added to this minus 15 the area of this is a triangle this is a rectangle so it will be height into length height of this is 5 kN 
we know that this is 5 and the distance is 3 so it will be the area of this box will be 5 into 3 plus 15 because it is acting upward so minus 15 into plus 15 we have get 0 so it will be 0 here so this is a bending moment diagram for this p now we see here that this was a 1 degree line so this will be a 2 degree line this will be a parabola this is a 1 this is a 0 degree line horizontal line so this will be the 1 degree line a linear line again this is a 0 degree line so this will be a linear line of 1 degree because the bending moment diagram will always be 1 degree greater than the shear force diagram hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video